Hi guys, I thought I'd go through my kind of top tips for the Physics Multiple Choice Paper 1, which is a real tough cookie. It is really, really difficult. Uh, the reason why it's difficult is, well, basically time is not on your side. Uh, it's a one hour and 15 minute paper, and you have 40 questions. And then, honestly, I mean, I've got 10 years experience of doing Cambridge papers, um, and each question, it might even take me 10 minutes to solve one of those questions. And I don't honestly feel 100% confident that I could get 100% in in the test myself. I mean, I think I'd probably get maybe 37, 38, but there'll always be something just to trip, trip me up or something or trip you guys up. It's a really, really tough paper. But uh, that being said, there are probably some strategies you want to think about. I mean, you've got basically an hour and 15 minutes, that's 75 minutes, that's 40 questions. That means really you have one minute and 53 seconds for each question, which is really, really tough. But what you want to think about is you don't want to eat into your time. So if you're really not sure of how to do something or you have no idea how to answer a question, there is no point just hammering at that one question uh, for more than two minutes. You've just got to have the confidence to say, this is Cambridge, this is a really tough paper, I'm not sure how to do this question, let's consider moving on and going on to something else. Okay, so don't panic. You know, don't, don't panic that you're really not 100% sure what's going on. You know, try to do some calculations. Have a look at what the, the question's asking. Um, also, think about going with your gut feeling, because I met the examiner a couple of years ago. Uh, there was a conference here uh, in South Africa in Johannesburg, and the examiner said, well, the, often students get the right answer first and then kind of doubt themselves and then scribble something out and then uh, get it get the answer wrong. So... You might want to consider just going with your gut feeling. I know that's very unscientific, especially for a physics teacher, but you might want to think about this going with your gut feeling. You don't have time to waste, and you honestly have just got to let it go. Uh, because if you're really not sure, it's just going to affect your, uh, your kind of mental process if you start worrying about one particular question. You just want to think about letting it go. But the most important thing is... Uh, you know, the old Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, quote here, don't panic. Uh, another thing is Cambridge always seems to write the questions in the order of the syllabus. So uh, I know a lot of students like particle and nuclear physics because generally it's just learning material and wherever there's some kind of question uh, or calculation, it's just adding and subtracting. It's really rather easy stuff. So if you happen to like particle and nuclear physics, you might want to consider going to the back of the, the paper first. Uh, and then maybe just, that might give you a bit of a, a confidence boost with what's there. And then maybe go to the front of the paper as well. Don't, don't spend, again, too much time going forwards and backwards throughout the paper trying to find questions that you feel you can do. Because again, that's just going to waste your time and probably increase your anxiety even more. So you want to just think about Maybe maybe go to the back of the paper, just do the nuclear questions, um, and then go back to the front as well. And then just practice, 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 not only past papers, but timing yourself with past papers. So you understand the kind of pressure that you're going to be on. Now, uh, sorry, under. Now, obviously, on the day, because you're under so much pressure, you probably will be able to think faster. Uh, but you just need to practice how many multiple choice questions you can do in that given time so you just know what that pressure is going to feel like and then you can kind of like adjust to that and then and if you know what you're dealing with you can kind of work out the pace that you need to go at as well which is really really important okay guys well that's just my few little tips and i hope that's been useful uh, well good luck and i hope you i hope you do well uh, if you have just written a multiple choice paper um Please write in the comments how you found it. Was this any useful at all? I hope I hope it was. 
Okay, and uh, please, uh, if you found my videos useful, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Okay, bye for now.